Lovely people, happy to come your way once again. In this video, Pastor Sam Adeyemi talks about the two things that will make you more successful than others. Let's do well to watch this video till the end in order to fully understand the message and also in order for us to be able to live with it. Please do well to like this video, subscribe to our channel and click on the notification bell so you are notified every single time we post a new video. Thank you. Exodus chapter 31 verses 1 to 5. It's there on the screen. Let's go. Then the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, See, I have called by name Bezalel, the son of Uri, the son of Hor, of the tribe of Judah. And I have filled him with the Spirit of God in wisdom, in understanding, in knowledge, and in all manner of workmanship to design artistic works, to work in gold, in silver, in bronze, in cutting jewels for setting, in carving wood, and to work in all manner of workmanship. We'll title our discussion today, Talent is Important. Talent is important. I'll tell you why we're sharing this. I have a clear vision from the Holy Spirit that every single person is talented and that a lot of people are neglecting their talents and we have only just a few people who identify their talents, who deploy those talents and they become stars, they become celebrities in our world and everybody else feels like it's their destiny to be ordinary. And God says, no, no. <laughs> There is something special about everyone. Not everyone's calling or assignment is meant to be visible. For every visible star, you have many that are hidden, but they are stars in their own right, making it possible for the visible one to be really, really visible. Some of the people that are visible, let's say in the entertainment industry, music, you have loads of people behind them who are experts in their own rights. It's either they are doing the makeup or they are arranging the wardrobe or they are organizing the staff, the logistics, the movement, and so on. The security for each actor or actress that you see on the screen. You have cameramen. <laughs> they are behind the cameras. That's why you can see them. But without them, you can't see the actor or the actress. You have the director who's making sure everything flows together. There's a person that even wrote the script in the first place. So, but every single one of them has to function in their own area of expertise or talent for the visible one to make impact. So whether your calling is meant to be visible or not visible, every single one of us is a star. Help me to say to the person sitting next to you, I'm happy to be sitting next to a star. <laughs> now, Day Star Christian Center is a church of mega stars, not ordinary ones. Amen. <laughs> so, from the passage that we read, you see God, you know, helping us to know it's not only preaching that he anoints people to do, that he anoints people in the professions. He gifts people for the professions. And we'll be discussing a lot more about that as we go on this month. Two things make some people more successful than others. Character and competence. We also refer to them as talent and effort. Let's use spiritual language the way we find it in the Bible the fruit of the Spirit, and the gifts of the Spirit. It's the two classifications. They make people more successful than others. <laughs> Sound character and competence. So talent is the competence part of the equation. 
talent is the gifts of the spirit part of the equation because sometimes we refer to talents as gifts. A talent is innate ability. It's unusual or extraordinary ability. Talent is a gift from God. Talent causes one to get more results with same or less amount of work compared to others. That, that's part of how you recognize talent. <laughs> Because it's a gift. It was just put in there. Some people have voices. There's a way their vocal cord is structured that is not like that of other people. When they make sounds, people around begin to, to observe there's something about this voice. There's something about this voice. And then that ability can be cultivated and before you know it, some people are even still teenagers when they become global sensations in music. It's a gift. That structuring is a gift. There's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> even the doctors can't help to restructure your vocal cords to make it happen. It's, it's a design from God. So there's a way that your spirit and your mind and your emotions and your physical body work together to produce maybe ideas, maybe artistic works, it may be equations or solutions, but that's just the way they work together that it doesn't happen for anybody else. So when you function in such an area, you tend to get results more easily than others. When you do your thing, people around wonder how you could do that because you are doing whatever it is at an extraordinary level. That's how you get to recognize a talent. Good. It is my opinion that most people don't pay enough attention to their talents. And not doing that makes us to live ordinary lives. I believe that everyone is talented. There is a part of God in every human being. There is a part of God's extraordinary ability in every human being. <laughs> we must resolve this quickly. There is no human being that has all of the extraordinary ability that God has. None. If not, we would have another God. <laughs> so it's, it's just a part of God. It's a part of God. Okay? But every human being has it because we've been created in the image and in the likeness of God. We are more like God in some areas than others. Some are more like God in their musical ability than others. Some are more like God in their ability to design than others. Some are more like God in their ability to relate with other people than others. Some are more like God in their ability to communicate than others. This is very, very important. A woman... For example, is more like God in some areas than a man is. <laughs> I know that the traditional representation of God that we have had is male. Okay? But wisdom should tell you that since Genesis chapter 1 verse 26 says, that God said, let us make man in our own image and after our own likeness. Let them have dominion. And verse 27 says that God created man in his own image and after his likeness, male and female, he created them. Wisdom should tell you that the man looks like God and the woman also looks like God. So there's a part of God that the man expresses. There's a part of God that the woman expresses. 
That's the beautiful thing about it. I said, God didn't give anybody everything. So there are things, there's a way, or there are ways in which a woman is more like God than a man is. <laughs> a woman can give birth. <laughs> a woman can reproduce. But then there are also ways in which a man is like God more than a woman is in certain areas. This flows over into all areas of life. Identifying what makes you different, what makes you unique, those special abilities that God has given you, and deploying them is allowing God to express himself through you. This is very important. <laughs> Identifying and deploying your talents and your gifts is allowing God to express himself through you. Let me explain that a little bit from the scriptures. Galatians chapter 2, verses 7 to 9. Galatians chapter 2, verses 7 to 9. Paul the apostle said, but on the contrary, when they saw that the gospel for the uncircumcised had been committed to me, as the gospel for the circumcised was to Peter, pay attention to verse 8. It's in brackets. It's an, it's an explanation. It says, For he who worked effectively in Peter for the apostleship to the circumcised also worked effectively in me toward the Gentiles. Verse 9 says, And when James, Cephas, and John, who seemed to be pillars, perceived the grace that had been given to me, they gave me and Barnabas the right hand of fellowship that we should go to the Gentiles and they to the circumcised. The game changer there is verse 8. For he who worked effectively in Peter for the apostleship to the circumcised the he there is God. Paul is acknowledging that when it comes to preaching, Peter gets better results with the circumcised than I do. When it comes to preaching, I get better results with the uncircumcised or with the Gentiles than Peter does. Wisdom tells us, <laughs> and the church leadership agreed that each person should go work in the places where they get better results. <sighs> Listen, you will never be able to give the Holy Spirit as the excuse for your struggling in an area for which he has not gifted you. There are loads of people who are saying, that, well, everybody is telling you, can't you see you get better results in this area? Can't you see you, you're talented, you're gifted for this? And you're saying, well, the Holy Spirit has not told me. I don't know how else the Holy Spirit is supposed to tell you. Because here are church leaders. Here are some of the most powerful people in church history discussing here, analyzing their results. And they're saying, here is Peter. This guy gets massive results. Whenever he talks to the Jews, they get saved in their thousands. You remember the day of Pentecost? 3,000 people decided to believe in God just because Peter spoke. Another day it was 5,000. That's amazing. But whenever it had to do with people that were not Jews, then there were complications introduced. For Paul, it was a different experience. He got his best results when he went to people that were not of the Jewish race. It's amazing. Now, you read his story. <laughs> I like to read his story. When you read his missionary trips in Acts of the Apostles, whenever Paul got to any city, the first place he went was the Jewish synagogue. Read Romans chapter 9 and Romans chapter 10. Paul was so passionate about the Jews. He said he was willing to be cursed just so they could be blessed, just so they could be saved. Jesus Christ came through them. How come people who were not Jews were getting saved way ahead of them? Paul wanted them to be saved. So anywhere he went, he would go to the Jewish synagogue. You know what they did? They beat him. 
That was what they did. They beat him. When they threw him out, then he went to go look for his real customers. Help me to ask someone sitting next to you, haven't they beaten you enough? <laughs> haven't they beaten you enough? <laughs> Your circumstances have been trying to show you what you're gifted for, what you're not gifted for. Don't sing by force. <laughs> Don't sing by force. If it is there, it is there. If it is not there, it's not there. If your results are commensurate to your loads of effort, then it's not a gift. Effort does a lot. And I, I, we're going to talk about effort because it plays a, a huge role. Because talent has a way of seducing you into laziness. Because things work for you more easily than they do for others. Talent has a way of deceiving you <laughs> and getting you to take things for granted. But we'll discuss that some more later. But I'm trying to make a point. I like the way Paul described it. He said, he who worked effectively in Cephas. In other words, whenever Peter does his thing and gets those unusual results, it is God that is expressing himself through him. He said, he also worked effectively in me. I like that. When talent is deployed, divinity is enmeshed with humanity. I love it. It's, it's no longer a human being. That's why a human being would speak and, and you, would, you would just think that you were listening to something from heaven. Sometimes we say, that's, that's out of this world. Exactly. That's what people are trying to explain. There's something about this that is unusual. There's something about this that is extraordinary. There's something about this that is beyond human. Joseph deployed his gift in Egypt when he interpreted the dream for Pharaoh. Then Pharaoh made that statement that I love so much in Genesis 31 verse 8. Genesis 31 verse 38. And I, I think it should be the testimony of every Christian. This Pharaoh of a person looks at Joseph and says, Can we find a man such as this? A man in whom is the Spirit of God? <laughs> By the time Joseph did his thing, all the magicians and astrologers in Egypt had tried to interpret Pharaoh's dream. They couldn't do it. This guy comes and he does it. Easy. Oh, Pharaoh says, this is not normal. This is beyond normal. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ. That area that God has designed for you to function in beyond normal, God will allow it to find expression this season in Jesus' name. It makes life easy. Makes life exciting. So, divinity meshes with humanity when you align with your wiring. You are designed to be a star, designed to shine bright in life. Some people contend that talent is overrated and that you can compensate for talent through effort or through hard work. Some people really, really argue with the fact that talent is critical to success. And they say, look, where most of, in fact, some people say that most of the skills that you need to succeed on a job are skills that you can learn. They don't require talent. Now, say, good, yes. You do have a point, but it is difficult to argue against the fact that there is something called uniqueness in creation. Very difficult to argue against that fact, that of all the human beings that ever lived, the ones that are alive and the ones that will ever live, there are no two that will have the same fingerprints. So that's what we're talking about, that some people have some abilities that are more than others in some areas, I don't think we should be able to contest that. Now, if you can succeed 
by hard work only. Just imagine how much more you will succeed if all of that hard work is invested in an area for which you are gifted or talented. Then it would be extraordinary. I think that talent is important. Talking about uniqueness in creation and all I'm here to do today is just make an introduction to the subject and we'll continue next time. 1 Corinthians 15 verses 39 to 41. 1 Corinthians 15 verses 39 to 41. All flesh is not the same flesh, but there is one kind of flesh of men, another flesh of animals, another of fish, and another of birds. There are also celestial bodies and terrestrial bodies. But the glory of the celestial is one, and the glory of the terrestrial is another. There is one glory of the sun, another glory of the moon, and another glory of the stars. For one star differs from another star in glory. I'm trying to talk about uniqueness. Hello. You are different from everybody else in some special way, and you need to accept that. Let me read verse 41 from the Amplified Bible. 1 Corinthians 15, 41 from the Amplified Bible. It says, The sun is glorious in one way, the moon is glorious in another way, and the stars are glorious in their own distinctive way. For one star differs from and surpasses another, in beauty and brilliance. So I'm here to say to you, first, you are a star. <laughs> you remember when God gave Abraham a vision, he said his descendants would be like the stars of the sky and like the sand of the seashore. You were one of those stars that God was describing. So you surpass other stars in your own distinctive way you surpass them in beauty and brilliance. Thank you, Lord. That, that, you've got to accept that. You are special. Whether you discovered it before or not, whether they told you before or not, some people say this talent thing, people just use it for oppression. It's the people that believe that some people were created special. Everybody else was created to be ordinary. It's those people that want class segregation. They're the ones that push this kind of a theory. Well, sorry, in our own equation, having read the Bible, all of us are stars. Amen. <laughs> That's what we want to say. Our world would be a better place if everybody functioned in their area of talent. Wow. Awesome. Why should you value talent? Talent gives you higher returns on the investment of your effort. That is my objective today to ask you to please begin to pay attention to this thing called talent or gift. The first reason is, it's the one area where you put in normal effort, you get unusual results. It gives you very high returns on your investment of time, effort, money. We call it ROI, <laughs> high ROI. Example, Joseph interprets a dream for Pharaoh and becomes prime minister of a whole country. Hello. <laughs> there are loads of people that interpret dreams for people and they don't change their status. Maybe they give them a little bit of money or some food. But for Joseph, this is a talent, this is a gift, this is extraordinary. Wait, he interpreted dreams for fellow prisoners in prison and that opened the door for him to go display the same gift in the palace. That's amazing. Look at that curve. Who gets promotion that way? And he was a foreigner in that country. He entered that country as a slave. That's phenomenal. Excuse me, don't you want to find out what your own talent is if your own talent <laughs> will open doors for you that way? Oh, yeah. High returns on investment. You put in average effort like everybody else, but the results you get 
are phenomenal. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that for you and for me, the days of fruitless effort are over forever. I declare in the name of Jesus Christ that the days of making big effort and getting small results, those days are over forever in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I pray that the power of the Holy Spirit will rest on you. I pray for the miracle of open eyes. I pray that revelation will come to you now. In the mighty name of Jesus, you will find your place. You will identify it. The Holy Spirit will bring it to you forcefully and clearly in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And I pray that as you begin to find alignment with your gifts and talents, oh my, 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 miracles, literally miracles of promotion, divine acceleration, miracles of restoration will begin to happen in your life. In Jesus' name. Pastor Sam Adeyemi said, everyone is talented and it's up to us to identify our talents and use them. The two things Pastor Sam Adeyemi spoke about were character and competence. He then went ahead and said that without these two elements, we cannot be successful in anything we do. We honestly appreciate your time. Please do well to like this video share with your friends and family members and subscribe to our channel also do well to pass through pastor sam adeyemi's youtube channel to watch similar videos as this thank you once again and all the best